Hello, everyone. I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County. Thank you for joining me for another special COVID-19 update with Dr. Meemark of the <laughs> Tob and Douglas Public Health Department. Dr. Meemark, thank you so much for joining me for another update. Oh, thanks for having me. I'm really glad to be here this morning. So, Dr. Meemark, things are continuing to evolve and change. So I want to ask you, from your perspective, what's going on in Douglas County? Where are the numbers? Where are we with the numbers? Yeah, so right now we have 3,078 cases in Douglas County with um, 362 hospitalizations. Now, unfortunately, we do have a little increase in, in deaths and having 62 people that um, have lost their battle against COVID-19. Um, but, you know, we, I think we talked earlier that things were looking a little bit better. And so that's good news. This is a trend that we're seeing across the nation and uh, uh, case rates are going down. And so for those of you that are watching and um, have looked at the Department of Public Health website, uh, they have a new 14 day case rate, a um, little um, interactive map that you can look at and you can click on Douglas County and it'll tell you what's been going on in the last 14 days and what's been going on um, over the whole pandemic. And so previously, just a few weeks ago, Douglas County was um, had cases that were over 400 per 100,000 and that was extremely high. Um, just to give you that, remember the, the marker, anything over 100, over 100,000 is considered high. So over 400 means that's, you know, four times that rate of, of being very high. But um, today we're happy to report that that number has come down to 195 per 100,000. And that's fantastic. It's been going in the right direction for the last few weeks. And we think it's a lot of the things that everybody's been doing with, you know, wearing the mask and washing your hands and keeping your distance, but and avoiding the large crowds. Um, another indicator that is on that map, if you go over to the right and you click, you can look at the test positivity rate. And that has been coming down too. And we're hovering probably between six and 7% for Douglas County. And if you remember back when, the, uh, when we had that big surge in June and July, it was over 20%. So that has been coming down well too. Now I have to stress to everybody, please do not become complacent. This thing can turn around real quick. And so we got to keep doing what we know works and keep going in the right direction. How are we doing with the hospitals? Hospitals actually are showing us some glimmer of hope too, which is great. So um, now inpatient beds are still very, very low over in Douglas Hospital, but the critical care beds have opened up a little bit. So there's some room there. So that's good news. So our area hospitals are showing um, a little bit of um, room and lightning in the hospitals. And that's great to know. And, and Wellstar Douglas, where it stands right now, um, it's doing a little bit better. A little bit better with the critical care beds and the emergency room, but the inpatient beds, um, the regular medicine beds are still a little bit tight over there. Gotcha, gotcha. What can you tell us about testing? So we've been doing really well with testing. So we're almost had almost 8,000 tests that are being done in Douglas County and per capita, that's really good down there. Um, we continue with our daily testing over at the um, health department and you can you know go online and pre-register for those. And um, we're also doing that core, the community organize, organized relief effort group are doing our outreach testing. So on Friday, they'll be at the town center mall between one and seven or town center, is it uh, Douglasville town center it's called uh -huh. one and seven. So you can come on our website, you can pre-register, but you don't have to um, register. They'll register you there on site. You have to get into the system, but they'll allow you to walk up. You can drive up, whatever um, you need, they'll, they'll um, help out with that. Oh, great, great, great. So uh, another thing that are on people's minds right now, schools yeah. uh, in Douglas County, schools are starting to open uh, relatively soon and starting to uh, have face to face instruction, I should say, because uh, they're, <laughs> they're already open. But just to be clear, they're starting to have face to face instruction coming up uh, very soon. Should we be worried about a rise in cases? So, you know, um, there are things to be thinking about when schools go back face to face. Um, I think one of the th things that's very important is looking at our community transmission rate, and those have been coming down. So that's a 
putting us in a much better position when we open schools or have, have them face to face. Um, we look at that and you look at those, um, per, the positivity rates as well. So we're in a much better position than we were just a few weeks ago. Um, what I would like to say is that um, the Douglas County School System and Superintendent North have worked really hard to do everything that they could to safeguard um, their children that are, and your children that are going to school. And so all the CDC recommendations, and they've been able to do a lot of that, which means reduce class sizes and increase sanitation and a lot of prevention measures. And so we, you know, you're going to get cases. I mean, I don't want anybody to think that we're not going to see cases. We will see some cases and some people will be quarantined. But um, honestly, they've probably done the best they possibly could. And, uh, and I think it, it, it will uh, it, it'll turn out pretty well. But we just got to watch if the cases go really high. That's where we got to start worrying. And so and we'll deal with that when it comes. Well, I think you're right on point, and especially as a father of two uh, students uh, in this Douglas County school system, um, I can see and literally read the protocols uh, that are set in place and the processes that if someone does test uh, positive for the COVID-19 uh, coronavirus, what steps are to be taken and what have you. So you are right on point, and I'm glad I'm in a position to testify to the citizens and parents out there in Douglas County that um, the school system is doing everything they can, you know, to help mit it, um, to help slow the flow, I should say. Yeah. Spread yeah. COVID-19. Absolutely, absolutely. Is there anything else you would like to tell the residents of Douglas County, Dr. Meemark? Yeah, so um, we are working on um, procedures for the COVID-19 vaccination to be released. So it's still on target for the early part of the year and public health will have a big part of that. And so they've started the planning um, at the state for that and we, we're involved with that. So I wanted to let everybody know that that will be coming along. But also um, we've been looking at the flu season. I know uh, some of you may have heard that the, you know, we are concerned about having a double whammy in the flu season and COVID-19. But um, what we're seeing in the Southern hemisphere, which all um, experiences the flu season before we do, we're seeing some really good things down there. And so the flu season has really been minimized compared to previous years. And so the thought has been that it's all of this stuff, the prevention and mitigation that has been done thus far, um, like washing your hands and the mask and social distancing has helped and decreased travel as well. But one of the big things is they've had a lot of vaccinations and so flu vaccines throughout. So I wanted to make sure everybody knew that when the flu vaccine comes out, get it as soon as you can and that will help protect you against, um, you know, kind of being slammed with two different diseases this year. Your doctors will have the, um, the flu vaccine, but we are also we will also have flu vaccines and we're going to try to work on having some outreach for that as well. Oh, man, that's great to hear. That's great to hear. Well, Dr. Meemark, I can't thank you enough for joining us again for the latest information on COVID-19, the coronavirus, how it impacts Douglas County, Georgia. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. You too.